first fight scene in Xiaoling's um, fight club, I, I did punch him in the face. Here we go. Three, two, one, action. Hold on, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings was your Hollywood debut. And wow, what a splash you made. Fans were going crazy that they thought you were so cool. The character is very cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's been it's been great. What was the casting like? The casting was like, I, I actually, I didn't know that I was auditioning for a Marvel film. I just saw an audition call in a group chat saying that um, a feature film needed a girl who can speak Chinese and English at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, well, I can be that girl. So I sent myself tapes and uh, not, af not after very long, I got a call back and they flew me to do a screen test with Simu and Destin. So that's when I found out that I was auditioning for Shang-Chi. And uh, yeah, I think everything went well. The, the, the screen test went very good. The chemistry between me and Simu was just so natural. The sibling vibe. Yeah, and uh, what we see from social media, from behind the scenes, you guys act like your brother, sister, you know, <laughs> kind of gets goofing around. I loved watching all that stuff. So, um, you know, what's your relationship with him like now that, you know, the movie's been out. Yeah, I mean, he's really like my brother. He is, yeah, I, I, um, I don't know if you watch the, the, the gag reel and the cut scenes in the Blu-ray and, um, and some behind the scene on Disney Plus that I, I watch that and it's just like um, experiencing everything all over again. I mean, I, I laughed and I cried watching that. It's just like, it's, I guess I annoyed him a lot on set because <laughs> I watched those <laughs> gag reel and behind the scene part. I said, I said he's like a brother because he annoys me a lot, but <laughs> I think actually I'm the one who annoyed him a lot. <laughs> And what's so great about the movie is that, you know, Simu is, is, the, is the lead, but you get to kick his butt a couple of times and yeah. win. You yeah, know? <laughs> you know, it really felt really good. And uh, um, we trained together for over four months and it was really a very intense training process. And you could really hear me and Simu <laughs> screaming in the stunt stage. And uh, we trained all those choreo together so I got to hit him <laughs> and when we shot the um the fight scene our first fight scene in Xiaoling's um fight club I I did punch him in the face oh. for, for real wow yeah. yeah I mean you can't blame me right because <laughs> that's what Xiaoling does and um, I remember I was really nervous because I didn't want to hurt him. Mm -hmm. But he was just, he was just like, yeah, just go for it. It's okay. You can't hurt me. Just, just, yeah, it's okay. So, you know, I just went for it and it felt good. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say after? It was like, okay, maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> no, he was like, I'm good. I'm good. Y yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't hurt me. <laughs> but, you know. Macho <laughs> to the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like what we say, like we'd like to say here in the U.S., you're a beast as far as like your martial arts skills. You know, that's a good thing. Is that a bad thing? Um, <laughs> and you can see it in the, you mentioned the behind the scenes. I did see some of the behind the scenes and you're just going, I mean, you look like an expert even behind the scenes. Um, was it easy for you to get into it? I mean, was it just like, yeah, let's do this? Um, I mean, it took me, it took me a while because I didn't have any martial arts background before this film. So they trained me a lot of um, martial arts form, such as MMA, Tai Chi, and uh, a really cool weapon um, in the film called Bro Dart. And uh, I really learned a lot from training those martial arts. And I really understand why they are called 
arts because they are beautiful. And also when we started shooting, um, because for me personally, I, I, I don't like the idea of hurting people. So it took me a while to really, it's, it's training is like training those forms, right? But, but shooting is like, you really have to throw a punch to, to, to people, right? So it took me a while to like, oh, I don't, I don't want to hurt them because, you know, we train together every day and they're so nice. And um, they have to come to me and said, Mar, it's okay, just throw your punch. And we are professional. You have to trust us. We can dodge it. So, yeah, it's just like, it, it, it was great. It was great, I guess. I, I, I nailed it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. I mean, a lot of people on social media, were, you know, you, they pointed at your performance because, you know, because of your martial arts skills. And then just, it was so beautiful. Like you mentioned, it's a beautiful, it's art. And that's what yeah. uh, people love so much about this movie is that it wasn't just about grunt, grunting and fighting. It was this mm -hmm. beautiful artwork. And it was just, it was, I just saw it again. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. Like, this is such a beautiful film. Um, I, I never had a problem to punch Simu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, the annoying brother. You got yes. to throw in some punches. Um, and I want to talk to you. I don't know if this is true, but poor, apparently Ben Kingsley um, gave you some acting tips. He gave you the, he told you what the difference is between um, stage acting and like camera acting. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. I mean, working with Sir Ben is just like, I mean, working with everyone just like a master class every day. You know, I literally took notes when every time when I talked to Sir Ben because everything he says is just like, oh my God, I have to, I have to write it down. And so, so every time I um, approaches him, he, he, he was just like, oh, you have some questions, dear. Tell me, what is it? <laughs> He, he knows. Yeah, he he did give me very, very helpful, useful notes because I, I did ask that question to him because he also has a um, theater background. And this is my very first film. I, I, I have never worked in front of a camera before. So I asked him that, what is the difference? He said, um, when we are on stage, we are landscape. Care, um, artist and we are in when we are in front of a camera we are portrait ar artists and it's just gave me such a clear image like oh okay I, I get it yeah it's really wow Feels, sounds so good cool to be in front of this presence you know <laughs> yes yes and he's really nice too yeah um and we gotta ask uh, the ending in the post credits. Oh, wow. What does that mean for you? What did they tell you? What, is, what can you tell us? Are you, are you going to be back? I mean, obviously you're going to be back, but are you going to be back uh, um, in, a, in a sequel directly uh, related to Shang-Chi or are you going to be part of an MCU universe as far as like in other films? I mean, um, I haven't heard anything from Marvel yet and I, I can't say anything on Marvel's behalf, but to me, I mean, oh, I also read a lot of um, posts and comments from fans that they are saying like, oh, give Shaolin a Disney Plus show. I mean, yeah, I love that idea. I want it. And um, because Shaolin is such a complex character, she has so much more for us to explore. And uh, I, I just, I can't stop thinking about her every day i ask those questions to myself like how did she train herself in when Wu's compound and how did she build the fight club in macau how did she meet Zhang john and as you said in the end credit scene you can see her sitting in the throne with razor fist and Zhang john by her side i mean the chemistry between that three can be really funny, can be really cool. And oh yeah. Yeah. And also, also there's a there's a sign in, in the end too said the 10 rings will return, right? That's but true. I mean, yes, the organization um is called the 10 ring, the 10 rings organization. And I'm the new leader now, but what kind of a 10 rings organization we 
without the actual 10 rings, right? Mm -hmm. That's the question that I ask myself. So, I mean, why? I also want those rings. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that was my question. It's like, is she over, you know, because she had a huge issue with Shang-Chi because he left her and the father who didn't pay her, you know, who didn't pay attention to her. Mm -hmm. Um, So she's got these issues. So you're wondering, like, is she going to turn bad because she hasn't resolved those internal issues? Like she felt like she was second rate to both of them. You yeah. know, so there's so many questions, right? Yeah, so many questions. And also, I don't know if you have seen those um, um, cut scenes in the Blu-ray. Um, there's a scene between Shang-Chi and Xia Ling. It's called Apo- The Apology. Um, Shang-Chi apologized to Xia Ling for abandoning, abandoning her. But I mean, has she really forgiven him? Right? So what's what's next for this between the siblings. And that's the things that I, I like to think about. Yeah, you wonder in the scene where she's marveling at uh, Shang-Chi when he gets the 10 rings, she's like, wow, like he, he's this new power. He has this new power. So now you're wondering, is she looking at him in awe or is she looking at him like, I want that? <laughs> I want that. And I, I watched the film like, a lot of times in in theaters and I'm also still watching it on Disney Plus and I don't know if you noticed because I I noticed that when Shang-Chi grabbed Xiaoling on the back of the dragon um he he holds on to her right the the let me go part and the the rings also um con- connected the two of them mm-hmm. So I guess for Shaolin, she also tastes a little bit of the taste of the rings. I don't know. I just, I just, I just like to think about those things. So, so Shang, Chang Shi might be like his mom and Shailing might be like her dad. That's what I, that's what I think because Shaolin, I think between the two of them, Shaolin is the one who like the father more power hungry and, uh, yeah, I think she she really loves the, the the taste of power. Yeah, and we see that a little bit in the fight club where mm-hmm. she's, you know, she runs this place. Yes. You know, so she has that that drive to to be her boss, to be her own <laughs> boss, you know. <laughs> um, and I got to ask, I don't know, if, like I said, I, I just read behind the scenes. I don't know if it's all true, but you married the action director. Congratulations. Thank you, um, thank you. Yes. And I read that Simuli, Simulu and um, Aquafina threw you uh, like a, a party, a wedding party at Disneyland. Yeah, that is also true um, because we didn't prepare anything for for ourselves. So the next day, Simu took us to Disneyland to surprise us, and um, I I thought he 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 was gonna take us for a hike because that's what he told me. But actually, he, he took us to Disneyland. I mean, that's so cool. And then the next day, Aquafina threw a big karaoke party for us. And everyone sang. I mean, it's so cool. You know who has the best voice? Wong <laughs> has the best voice, really. That I believe really it. Cool. Yeah. And the production also um, threw a reception party for us and yeah it's just like a family to me oh that's so sweet i love the special i love the whole karaoke because in the movie they go karaoke i guess we just really love karaoke (laughs) um now well halloween has passed but you know in the the next halloween i mean we what would what would it be like for you to see little girls dressed up as shailene Oh, yes. I've already seen a lot. I've already seen a lot of pictures of, you know, parents dress their babies in Shang-Chi and Xiaoling. And they are so creative. I mean, they are so cute. They are so cute and they are so creative. Those parents even made the rogue darts themselves and they look really cool. It's really good to see that, you know, um, people dress up like the the characters that I play in the film, it's, it's so cool. 
Now, since we are expecting a sequel, are you keeping up with the martial arts or you kind of like forgot about it? Or is it something that you're still interested in, like doing it as an exercise? Yes, I'm still training. I'm still training. I, I'm ready. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. Just, just, you know, when Xiaoling returns, she's going to return strong. Yeah, well, I cannot wait. Um, I can't tell you enough how much I enjoyed your character. I really love that they put them on, put her on equal footing as the main leads as Tony and, and Simu. So I really like that. And, um, you know, congratulations on all your success. And uh, I can't wait to see what they do with your character. So <laughs> it's such a good character. I will see which way she goes, you know, go the bad route or the good route or yeah. in the middle, in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank all you right. so much.